Hello everyone. Uh, now we'll see the definition for pumping lever for context-free grammar. Uh, this is again same as that of your uh, regular exp regular language. Now we are going to consider L to be a context-free language. Then uh, L is a context-free language. Then we are going to consider some random number n uh, p. Actually, this we call it as a pumping length. I'll explain you what a pumping length is. Uh, where and uh, we are going to consider one more s s is a string in l whenever it is in context free language we are going to have some input string that is accepted by the context free language satisfying a condition so we are going to consider s is a string and uh, like we are going to consider s is a string of a greater length okay the length of the string is greater than or equal to this p okay and in this case if the length of the string is more we can divide this s into five pieces where uh, x is divided into u, v, x, y, z, where this v and y is value was greater than 0. Okay, so some value should be there for this v and y portion. Okay, and the remaining length is less than or equal to p. And if this can conditions are all satisfied, if all these conditions are satisfied, then we are going to say for all i greater than 0, we are going to put a loop in this v and y portion. We said that this v and y are not or uh, not an empty string. The value is greater than 0. Then we are going to have a looping in this portion. Okay. So since uh, the reason why we have a uh, looping in this portion is like whenever it is in context free language, we are going to use pass tree for deriving some strings. Okay. So from the starting portion, Okay, from the starting symbol to that of this input. Okay, and our input is like the string that is S. Like we can have the starting symbol as some random T value. Okay, since S is considered as this input string, we are going to st uh, divide the string into U, V, X, Y and Z. We are going to start from the starting symbol and we are going to derive this input. Okay, since we are going to use pass tree for derivation, we are going to you have this representation. Okay, and uh, here it might be some representation like this. Okay, some portion derives this u, v, and then x, y, and z. This is how our derivation is made. Okay, so now in this case, if the length of this s is great, okay, um, uh, is more uh, somewhere, okay, like if the length of the string is more than. Uh, the pumping length okay some random values okay it may say that like in the grammar some way there exists an recursion okay some variable will be called again and again okay so that this portion like we always consider this looping in the middle portion okay and we consider this looping to be done in this one okay some recursion some repeated number of predictions like uh, if r is a variable that has a prediction for it and we are going to use that r at least twice or thrice in the prediction then it we call this as a looping portion and the looping is done in the middle portion of it okay so whenever it is a looping looping repeats for zero or more time so we are going to make this loop over here okay like in the middle portion of v and y in this portion we are going to make a repetition where x remains as it is and u and z remains as it is since it is a looping condition then for all i value greater than or equal to 0 then this u v power i x y power z y power i z should also belongs to the given context free language so that is the definition for that is the explanation for the definition of pumping lemma for context free language and we are going to use this pumping lemma for proving some language not to be regular not to be context free thank you